Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating a fun, flirty Valentine's Day look. So if you want to see what I come up with, then just keep on watching. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take my NYX Photo Loving Primer and prime my face. I mainly focus it on my T-zone area and the areas where I get the oiliest because I find that it helps a lot when I actually use this for not using a primer. Alright, and after my face is primed and ready to go, y'all already know the drill. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Okay, so after I apply my foundation with my silicone makeup applicator, I like to take a damp makeup sponge and just really dot around my foundation and kind of eliminate any type of streakiness that was left behind. And this just helps really get an airbrush type of finish. Now taking a concealer, I like to brighten up underneath my eyes just a bit. And I'm just applying some e.l.f. translucent powder underneath my eyes to prevent creasing. And I don't mind getting messy with this because I'm going to wipe it away anyway. Um, but that's just in case I have any fallout from my eyeshadow or anything else. I'm also going to take the rest of the powder that I have in the pan and tap this brush very gently and apply it to the rest of my face so that when I apply my contour and blush and everything else it blends out very nicely. Alright so that's all for foundation right now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick and I'll see you in a second. Okay now that I'm done with my brows I think I'm going to wipe away this translucent powder that's underneath my eyes and go ahead and warm up my face and add a little bit more dimension back into it. So I'm going to be taking this brush right here and mixing my favorite two shades. They're a peach, slight peach undertone and a warmer kind of shade. And I love mixing these two and really, um, you know, adding some more dimension back into my face. I like to apply this exactly where I would also kind of apply a contour just to kind of give some color back into my face and more dimension but it's a lot subtler than like going on a full like contour kind of look um, and I think it's cute. I'm going to add just a bit to the top of my forehead because I have like the biggest forehead ever <laughs> um, and then a tiny bit around my jawline. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Glow Kit in the Sun Dipped palette and dip into Moonstone because I'm going to be going for a light pink kind of look today so I really want it to be nice and soft. I'm going to use this brush. If you have not watched the boyfriend does my makeup challenge, oh my god. So he grabbed this brush and started applying highlight and I freaked out because I normally use this little brush right here for my highlight. But I'm kind of glad he did it because this has been amazing like for applying highlight. Uh... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and tap a little bit off and apply it right here. Perfect. Yeah, I, I've been missing out by not using this brush for highlight, like honestly. So thanks, babe. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I'm going to also grab my smaller brush now and use that same color, Moonstone. It's such a cute color. It's like a soft pink. And apply it to my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose and a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well, right towards the center. 
you know, make it look like you've been sniffing powder donuts all day and you had strong enough willpower not to eat any. The struggle is real. <laughs> Okay, so this is it for the face. I might tone this down just a little bit, um, but we are going to go ahead and dip into the eye look, so I'll see y'all in a sec. So I'm taking Moonstone and highlighting underneath my brow bone. I want this to be very um, intense and reflective, so I'm going to be piling it on. Now I'm just going to be applying a transition shade so that everything blends out nicely. I'm adding Prometheus from the Galaxy Chic Palette into my crease and blending that in with my transition shade as well. Okay, now I'm taking Aphrodite and blending that in with Prometheus because I want this cut crease to have a nice soft gradient effect towards the outside of the eye. Alright, taking Dominatrix, I am blending out and adding some more depth into this eye look and bringing it up so that when I cut the crease it has a nice gradient. Okay, now that I'm satisfied with the transition, I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm taking a flat angled brush and applying some concealer and starting off by applying it to the center of my lid and starting from the inner corner and bringing it up and filling that in I think the toughest thing when learning how to do a cut crease is honestly committing to drawing the crease. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, you'll you'll be totally fine. Once I'm satisfied with my crease color, I'm going to be taking the shade Sun and packing it on to where I just drew the cut crease. I'm adding a dark brown shade to the outer edge of my eye to kind of add a little bit more dimension. I'm going to be taking this NYX Cosmetics body glitter in the shade Rose as well as my Ardell Lash Glue and a little flat brush to apply some lash glue uh, to my lid. Okay, I'm taking a little brush and adding a little bit of lash glue to my eyelid where I'm going to be applying the glitter. During this step, I suggest having your glitter ready to go and also keeping your eye closed because it's kind of hard to keep opening your eye as the glue dries. Okay, now I'm taking this flat angle brush and packing the glitter onto my eye where I applied the lash glue and I totally just dropped this all over my cheek <laughs> and if you find that you need to apply some more glue in certain places then go ahead and do that okay now I'm taking Aphrodite and applying it underneath my eye as well as Dominatrix and that dark brown shade from Stormy Skies and now I am lining my eyes with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Liquid Liner. And I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and pop on an, uh, a lash and I'll be right back. So I decided to put frosting on the inside of my eyes uh, because I just, I don't know, I wasn't really digging the cat eye and it wasn't turning out how I wanted it to. But Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be using this NYX lip liner in Nude Beige. Okay, so after I'm done outlining my lips in the Nude Beige, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Colorlicious Lip Gloss in the color Give Me Guava. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every week. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and if you guys decide to recreate this look, be sure to tag me. You can follow me on Instagram at yellow.jade. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching. See you in the next one.